Welcome to my channel, Jesus Loving Mama. My name is Sheena, and today I'm going to be reviewing BJU Science 1. It's their fourth edition, the newest one they have, and it's for first grade. One of the reasons why I love BJU is because it's biblically based. Um, so they, look, they teach it from a biblical worldview. They teach that God created the world, and so they tie in science with the Bible. They also ask really good questions to get your child thinking, um, not just literal literal questions, but critical as well. And they apply it to their life, how it's going to affect them. There's also lots of hands-on activities that get the kids involved, get them learning. So this is the kit that I have. So let's go ahead and um, look inside of it. Um, in the kit, what you get is you get the student book, and then you get the activity book for the student and then you get the activities answer key that's spiral brown which is nice makes it easy to correct their work and then you get the tests which I put in a folder and then you have the teachers edition so let's go ahead and start with the student edition just so you can see what's inside here the words are nice and big um, they're at first grade reading level I believe um, my first grader did an amazing job reading it. She never had any problems. She understood stood it really well. They have vocabulary words in here, so if they're not understanding, um, you can go over those vocabulary words. And they also have a glossary in the back here. They can look them up and they learn dictionary skills as well. So that's a plus. There are 90 lessons um, in this curriculum. And they can take anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes, depending how much how long you spend on each lesson. If you do the extra activities and so forth, um, and how fast they're answer, asking answering the questions. Um, so you can with the 90 lessons you can do them um, every day um, and get it done with in a semester quite fast, or you can take your time and take all year to get them done. It's up to you. Um, so that's nice that you have some flexibility, but I wanted to show you that they have some exploration activities, which are really fun. This one, she actually got to build some lungs, and um, she got to wear them and breathe, and so I'll show a clip of that, of what she made it. That was one of her favorite things because she loves learning about the body. They also have investigation activities so they can do their own investigation. So she got to do the stars shine in the daytime. Do they, um, why don't they shine during the daytime, you know? And so she got to investigate all that stuff and that it has to be dark and, and that they have STEM activities as well. This is probably one of her least favorite ones just because they really have to use their, um, imagination and she's more like I said a black and white thinker and so this one's about music so all these projects come with little worksheets that they little check off a little to-do list the materials you know they check them off so they ask what's what's the problem and they tell them and then see they have to imagine answers to their problem and it's not something she always likes to do but it's really good for them to get them thinking and then they have to draw and label and make a model um, and test to make it better and then they can share what they did with others and so I find it's really good for them um, get some thinking and get some um, outside of the book so I really like that okay and then the activity book it's just um, you just can rip them out I really like that it's just rip right through so you don't you're not ripping the pages as tearing them apart as you get them out. Um, we've pretty much gone through this, so there's not very much left. Um, but as you can see, there's just little activities, just color in the circles, not a lot, put them in order type things. And then of course you have the answer key, um, which I didn't think I needed the answer key, but science is not my strong subject, and so I really enjoyed having it, just so I knew I was telling her the right thing. So. I really liked it and I just used a paper clip to show where we are so I can flip to the answers really easy. The tests come just in paper form and so I just put them in a three ring binder. These are the answers over here and then I just pull and rip out her tests and hand them to her. Now let's go over the teacher's edition here. I really love their teacher books. 
Um, I love how it's easy to follow. Um, I can know what I, what's expected of me as a teacher, what the student should be doing. Um, where a lot of other curriculums, I've kind of been lost on well, what am I supposed to tell them and what should the answer be? Like, So here's the different units. There's five of them. There are five different units. Let's learn about science, where they talk about science and scientists and what they do. And then you learn about the living things. You learn about your body, uh, which was our favorite unit, um, about earth and space, which she learned a ton from it. It, it puts it in a way that they can actually understand it, which I love. And then about energy is the one we're on now, and we're really loving it. Lots of fun different activities. So then and you that's what you're gonna be learning. So let's figure see how it's set up. So each lesson you have your objectives, your materials, and then your resources that you're gonna need, and then some new vocabulary words. So I love that they have this so you know that you're ready for class when you have all these things. And the resources are actually on the back of your book. I just put a little flag in the back, and that way I know where they are. I can easily flip to them. Here's the instructional aids. Um, you can copy them if you want. Um, I just leave in the back and flip to them and show them to her. And a lot of these are actually in their activity book, um, so that you don't even need to copy them because they already have them. And then they have their visuals back here, um, which makes it nice. You just flip it, flip to it, and it's done. So I like that, so then you don't have to print them off of the CD and, and use more ink. They're just all here. So there's, and there's the Bible verses that go with chapter. So I really like that. Um, the one thing I did miss, though, with the materials is there was no materials list in the back of the book. Um, so you don't know what you need for the year. You'd have to go through each lesson by lesson, but they do have... Um, on their website, you can print off a materials list for this book, which I did do. Um, but I know in the second year, they do have a materials list in the back, which is really nice. I'm so happy that they put that in there. Okay, so each lesson starts with an introduction to get the student warmed up for the lesson. They don't just dive right in. So they do a kind of an introduction, kind of includes kind of a review of what they've learned already. Uh, so that what you see in the blue, that's what you're going to be reading, what you're going to, and what you'll be asking them. Different questions. The little gears that shows you which ones are critical questions, and those are my favorite because um, those answers aren't necessarily right directly in the book. They can't read them and find them. They have to think for themselves. Um, so then the pink, that's going to be the answer. What should they? What they should be responding with, um, and then the black wording. That's what you should be doing, or what you should be telling your student to be doing. So, I really love that. It's laid out really nicely. Okay, so then you prepare them for the reading by going over vocabulary and you talk about the heading and all that stuff. And then you have the teach for understanding. So in the preparation for reading, um, you kind of just get them going and they read the book their pages and then you ask them questions on it making sure they understood what they read that they've comprehended it which I really love and then you have this activities box over here which is really fun you can play I spy um, touch related words distinguish smells so lots of fun different you don't have to do all those activities but they have a, so many that you can pick from which I love not just one option because what if you don't have those supplies um, and then they always have the check question and answer and they do have the background and here's the background scientists um, they kind of tell you they talk about them up here and then they tell you a little bit more information down here in case your student wants to know more about them so I really love that about that so you don't have to go find a book or look it up it's right there for you on the review, uh, for after each chapter, they have review, and they have games. Each chapter has a different game, which is really fun. Um, they could address the scientists as one of them. Um, and if you, they already understand, you don't have to do the review. It's just an option. Um, but the games are fun. 
So that's a look into the teacher's book. And each unit has a different color. I really love that about it. it. Makes it colorful and it just makes it so you know, oh, we have this much more in this unit. I just, I love color. So, so once again, I love this because of the biblical, biblical view. Um, the awesome questions they ask. The All the activities. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. Um, you can always, I'll put a link to their curriculum. Uh, and I just reviewed this because I love their curriculum. It was not paid or I wasn't asked to do it or anything, but I just really love BJU, so I wanna just put it out there so people can see. Uh, so I'll see you guys later.